everyone, it's me Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do a roundup of palettes that I used as my palette of the week for the last five weeks. Um, this week I'm not, well, you guys are going to see this video later, so I'm not even going to talk about that. But yeah, um, I typically go on, if nobody is familiar with the whole palette of the week concept, I go on, if you follow me on Instagram, I go on there on usually Saturday or Sunday and I put up two palettes and let you guys pick which one that I use for the week. So that's what I'm talking about. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. The first palette that I have is the Tiny Marvels. This is the first one that you guys picked for me to use. I'm going to try to put pictures up of some of the looks that I did while I was using these palettes, if I remember, because I'm terrible for that. But anyway, this is what the Tiny Marvels palette looks like. It is the collaboration between Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace, and it is beautiful. Now, you only have, well, that's more like a shimmer. You only have one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers in this palette. The rest are mattes. So you can get a lot of all matte looks if you want, but you can also get some really pretty shimmer looks. And this hair one up here, Scarab, this is actually a duo chrome. So this is a really pretty palette, and I came up with some interesting looks with it. They do have a nice blending shade right here, or sorry, your um, transition shade right here. You can pretty much use it for all your looks, or you can use this one if you wanted to or you could even go in with the mauve color so they do have some of them they do have some nice darker colors and they have a couple of pastels scattered in there so there's a lot of looks that you can do with this palette especially if you're creative and you can just come up one of my favorite colors I'm going to tell you in this palette actually not one of my favorite colors my favorite color I'm sorry my lighting looks off again it's dry there that's better I have to put you guys at a different angle. My white balance keeps going off. My favorite color in this whole palette that I like to use and I like to put it all on my lids is Fire Butts. It's like a gold color, but it's almost like a greenish gold and I just, I love it. So this palette, I am going to give it a good solid 9 out of 10. The only thing that I think is missing is like a color that you can put all over your lid like to set down your primer and maybe a black i think a black would be interested in here and yeah that's about all but i'll give this did i say a nine out of ten love this palette my next palette for the second week was the two face foxy neutrals palette isn't it cute this palette is for the neutral lover and that maybe likes a little bit of glitter and a little interesting little orange color there. So I did some interesting looks with this. It smells like sugar cookies. <laughs> I just got a whiff of it. Um, there's not a lot of versatility in here, but there's a bit because you do have this really nice pressed glitter and then which they actually work really well, these pressed glitters. And then you have a little bit of interest here with the orange. And this neutral palette is interesting as well because it has warm and cool tones in it. So you can do a warm tone look or a cool tone look. So if you're like a neutral girl, you're going to like this one. And it literally has everything. It literally has mid-tone blending shades. It has a nice buttery color that you can put all over your lid to set down your primer and it whoa sorry guys if you heard that that's my microphone i don't know how well this is working i don't know if i got it right or not and then you also have a black for deepening things up so this is a really nice palette i'm going to give this palette a, i'm going to end up being really really not so critical with these things but i'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 as well because i just really enjoyed using this palette the next palette that I have is from Revolution, and it is the Roxy Roxaurus Color Burst Palette. Sorry, it's really reflective. I can see the, the color is changing all over my video. It's like going crazy. This is what this looks like. Yeah, I gotta set it this way for you guys. This one, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. I, um... I like it. It gives good looks. If you're into colorful eyeshadow looks, then you're going to like this one. But I find it needs a transition color, like a neutral transition color to do some looks. And maybe it has a really dark brown brush. 
Maybe I could use a black. I had a hard time coming up with looks with this palette, to be honest with you. Maybe I just wasn't feeling very creative. But I like having this in my collection because I really love the silver, silver color. And I like the green. I use that green for a look. And I like this here purple color here. So you got some you got some pastel colors, you got some darker colors, you got some nice glitters. I just think it's missing a transition color or a couple of transition colors. Like the only one that you really have is really this peachy color. Unless you're doing like a really colorful transition. So I'm only going to give this palette a 6 out of 10. I would probably, if I didn't have these, if I had these pastel colors in another palette, I would probably pass this palette on. The performance was good, but I just... Alright, the next palette that I have is the Sweet Oasis Palette. The, so the 35S from Morphe. This is new to my collection, so I, uh, I enjoyed having the fact to play with it. Now this palette, I'm going to tell you, it has a little bit of everything. If you want color, you got some color. You got blues, turquoise, purples, pinks. And then if you want cool tone looks, well the palette mostly is cool tone. But there are a few warm colors sprinkled in here and there. So you can do some natural looks, neutral looks with this. You can do some colorful looks. You can mix it up. You can do a lot of stuff with this. So I'm going to probably be taking taking this palette out again shortly because it um it just calls to me and I think it's going to be really pretty for spring and summer I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 they're not the best performing shadows in the world but they're really good so yeah that's for that one if you guys see me scratching I used whey shampoo and conditioner on my hair the other day and ever since I did it, my shoulders are itchy, and it's the only new product that I use, so I I must be allergic to something in the way shampoo and conditioner. Okay, last but not least is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I wanted this palette so bad when it came out. I just I just thought, you know, what did I honestly I'm gonna admit to it now. I got sucked in by the packaging because it's girly and cute and pink and hearts and yeah. So it does have a lot of pinks in it. This is a cool toned palette. Has a lot of pinks in it. I came out with some pretty good looks with this um, this past week. And you know what? The pigmentation is still pretty good on this. And it's still performing pretty well. And this is old. I think I got this in 2015. But it's still... I was considering that I might be getting rid of this palette. But it's still working pretty good. So... Yeah, this might be the last year for it, but I am going to get some use out of it before it says goodbye forever. But yeah, I'm going to, uh, I should be, I should have been using this. I did dip down in a lot of the, um, a lot of the shimmer shades, but I should have been using this more. Like I kind of tossed it to the side when new stuff came in and I didn't pay attention to it anymore. But I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10. It does have a little bit of everything in it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I enjoyed using it this week. And I probably will use it again shortly. Um, just to get some more looks out of it. It's good for like an everyday type of palette. But then you do have your pops of color. Because you have some crazy pinks in here. And purples. So if you like, if you like pink purples and like burgundy brownie tones. And like grayish tones. You'll like this palette. But you can't buy this anymore, so I shouldn't really say that. But like I said, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. I've been enjoying it. It's, it's not as pigmented as it used to be, but it's still performing pretty well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this wrap-up of these palettes. I'm going to try to do this every five weeks when I use palettes and just keep in track of it. See if I'm going to toss anything. You know, just keep going that way. Um, so if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell. I typically upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment down below. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye everyone!